In this video, we will see how we can able to simulate an IED from ID code PC license. To simulate an IED from ID code, we need an SCL file which need to be exported from the ID configuration tool or system configuration tool. So this is the ID that we're going to simulate now, which is not available in the network. You can able to see 192.168.2.10.161 is an IP address of the ID which is not available in the network. You can able to see there is a cross mark which means there is no ICMP ping response from the real ID and we are going to simulate this particular ID. I have exported the SED file by selecting the substation section and by export option. There is an SCL file which has been exported already. Maybe I can also export quickly. And there you can able to choose the maximum SCL schema version. So the SED file have the complete information about all the ID that belong to the PC implant structure project. The IDs are getting exported. There are many ID objects are available inside the PCM plan structure. That's why it takes a little bit of time. And we could be able to see the export is successful. And next, we will open the ID code. The exported SCL file can be imported into the IDS code for simulation purpose. And we have a flexibility to simulate only the goose or including the MMS server capability. So that's the next step. We need to pick the, the access point from the configuration section. There we can able to see there is an inbuilt Ethernet adapter that is available in my PC as a network adapter. You can able to just right click and open the network adapter settings. In case if you would like to simulate MMS server, you can go to the network and sharing center. There you can able to see uh, inbuilt Ethernet access point. So you can able to say property is and then you can able to add the IP address that you want to simulate. You can able to go to the advanced option or you can able to add the IP address 192.168.210.161 and the subject mask on your PC adapter and there is another adapter already having the IP address that's okay so the IP address has been added already and let's close the interface then we'll select the simulate ID option and provide the input as an SAD file and we can able to pick the whole information or the the ID that we want to simulate and the SCL file is getting imported into the simulator section and the SCL content has been loaded and we can able to also see the information and the SL file has been loaded and there are some private uh, extension. That's the information which is not a big problem here. Then we can able to start the ID simulation. And there we could able to see the IP address what we need to simulate exactly. Then you can also be able to uncheck the simulation flag for the goose message in case if you are in a test environment 
or if you know what exactly um, it will um, create in the real environment so you can able to say start here by default we use 102 port for the simulation of MMS server and then let's try to start, start simulate and here we could able to see um, the ID IP address or the port is maybe in use in our network let's find out most of the cases we know the IP address is easy to find and we have already added the IP address on the adapter that's okay that's not a big problem and what we need to do is only the port number so in my case I have installed uh, Siemens ID configuration tool which is a Dixie software application and in this particular uh, ID configuration tool uses a service that occupy the 102 port so in order to know who occupied the 102 port you can able to go to the performance from the task manager and open the resource monitor and there we can able to see the occupied port for the TCP um, IP protocol because MMS uses the uh, TCP IP connection and there you can able to see port number 102 is used by TCP port 102 used by Siemens uh, service so we can able to just press Windows or go to the services section and there you can say yes there you go to services and click any one of the service and type S there you can able to see S7 DYS there you can able to just say stop the service which is not required for temporarily and we can able to come back here and the service has been stopped and one zero two port is now not occupied anymore so you can able to use this particular um, resource monitor to find out the 102 port occupation on your Windows PC. So now let's come back to the ID code simulation and now we will say try to simulate the ID again with 102 port and you can able to see now the ID is successfully simulated and simulation started successfully with the right IP address and port number and including the goose control block has been simulated you can able to flexibly change the ghost control block settings by un unchecking the simulation flag and risk transmission strategy change and the ghost message event change you can able to start publishing it with the simulation flag if you are in a test environment you can also enable the description when you are working with ID code and whatever the ID that we simulated we can able to even just discover from the browser section I can able to just discover so the ID that has been simulated from the simulator section can be also discovered from the browser section because ID code can be used as a, a simulator also client application simultaneously you can able to even access more than one ID you can able to load many SL file and you can also able to use the sniffer window parallelly to know what exactly happening in your network or the ID that you simulate so this is how you can able to simulate an, an ID when there is a 102 port occupied on your PC you can able to use the filter option the ID section then you can able to check unknown ID you can focus on the ID that you are exactly want to simulate and work you can able to even take the simulated ID from another 620 client or for example in this case let me take another ID code install PC so that you can also know the ID which we have simulated it's possible to discover from the other 620 client. You can also use ID score latest version in the Windows 11 operating system. It also works very well as long as you have the permission with administrative privilege you can able to just discover the ID. You can provide the IP address and start discovering it.
and now we are able to discover the simulated id from another client pc and you can able to enable the different type of reports from the other id and you can able to occupy the report control block for more clarity you can able to even subscribe the ghost message that is published by the the simulator section from the other and you can able to also see the goose message has been subscribed successfully and you can able to just send the control command from the other client PC you can able to just drag and drop here to pick the right data object and you can able to see this particular data object is switch controller uh, logical node and you can able to also see the control model is SBO with NN security that you can able to press the data object and uh, the control model and then there you can able to change the position from true to false and operate and you can able to see flexibly you can able to change the, the control command from the client application it will be received by the IED whatever we are sending from the other um, client you can able to see what exactly happened the polling the client server traffic and everything can be easily understandable so this is how we can able to simulate an id when there is a 102 port, port occupied on the windows pc in case if you need any more clarity feel free to contact omicron technical support we will be happy to support you with the right solution and you can able to contact Omicron Technical Support from the Omicron web page. You can able to reach from the support section. There you can able to see technical support. And you could able to see the different support line emails based on your location. Can able to request uh, the right technical support email address and we will be happy to support you with the right solution. Thank you. Take care. Bye.